here in, in New York City right now uh, in the middle of April, uh, and here are our last two issues. Uh, here's one issue on uh, uh, the cover story being about education and the new Secretary of Education. Here's a second issue that uh, has just come out. Geo gizmos, will we engineer the heat out of the global warming debate? Now, from the topics of these two issues, uh, I think you can see the, the influence of John Calvin, basically. Uh, these, are, these issues are not just about, uh, about salvation. So they're not uh, testimony magazines. I mean, that is crucial to who we are as Christians, what God does in our lives, but God also teaches us, and John Calvin taught us, that uh, as Kuiper, one of Calvin's followers, put it, uh, every square inch, I'm loosely translating into English, uh, every square inch uh, of the world uh, is God's. And that was one of the things that Calvin taught his people, as opposed to the medieval understanding that in some ways you had to leave the world and perhaps if you were going to lead the highest Christian life, join a monastery or a nunnery and be away from the world's challenges and opportunities and pressures and threats and everything else, John Calvin talked about engagement. And <clears throat> that's why we're here in New York City. But that's why, that's why world covers all kinds of news, not just news of, of uh, revivals and certainly not just news about church picnics but everything that goes on, education, science, um, economics, politics, world uh, is now bi-weekly after being weekly for many years, so I'm not sure we, we count anymore as, the, as people used to describe us as the Christian time and the Christian Newsweek. We're bi-weekly, they're still weekly, but we still cover news. And we cover news and try to put it all into biblical perspective. And through God's blessing we have 400,000 readers around the country and, and some, some various parts of the, of the world who actually get world in its paper form like this. Then we also have an online presence that's growing. So our goal is to take every thought captive for God, take every square inch of territory for God and report on those square inches. And also in doing so to tell the truth. We, we aspire to be salt, not sugar. Uh, so we don't sugarcoat the news, we sometimes report stuff that's very unpleasant. And that also helps us learn about the world. And we report God's mercies in the world, and that also teaches us about God. And we review movies, including R-rated movies, and some people object to that, and we tell them we understand your concerns, but you'll just have to skip that page, because these are the movies that highly influence our culture and we want people to know about them, to understand the worldviews behind them, to understand what the conversation, the buzz about them is, and to be able to decide with, with Christian analysis whether to go see them or not. So, movies, music, television, other aspects of popular culture and sometimes high culture, economics, politics, we try to cover the waterfront and that is a decidedly Calvinistic way of doing things.